Planting Stories, The Life of Librarian and Storyteller Pura Belpre, written by Anika Adamoy Denise. Illustrations by Paola Escobar. Hi everyone, MC Baker here talking about art connections to this year's Red Clover books. How fitting that this book is a Pura Belpre honor book as it is a biography of Pura. Beginning in the early 1920s, Pura worked at the 135th Street branch of the New York Public Library in Harlem. As the first bilingual library assistant, she was hired to serve the Spanish-speaking population in her community, but found no books of stories of her homeland, Puerto Rico, in the collection, or even any books in Spanish. To fill this gap, Pura used storytelling, puppets, and eventually books she published herself to fill the void. Reading this book will inspire young people to follow in Pura's footsteps and spread story seeds of their own, whether with puppets, a pencil, or just their own voice. You're going to love this book. And there's so many um, ways that you can adapt puppetry, storytelling, and uh, all sorts of things into this book. But I wanted to create a, 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 something around books. And I, when I think of books, I think of bookmarks. Um, I, we do a lot of reading in our family. And I wanted to create a, a, a rather unique bookmark with some things that you might just have common around your house, like little scraps of origami paper, or even um, this is the perfect time to uh, use pretty, uh, pretty, pretty wrapping paper, really thin paper works the best. So you're going to um, cut about six inch triangles. You'll notice that um, the triangle does not have to be perfect. Um, in fact, it's fine if it's a little wonky. So um, you're going to cut a, uh, a triangle of paper and um, you'll need um, a toothpick and some glue. Any kind of glue really works fine. Um, what I would do is I'd take your triangle and one at a time I would put a little bit of glue on your triangle and then you're going to use your uh, toothpick to form it into a roll. And I'm really just rolling this on, back on itself. Um, as I do this, the little bit of glue, and really it's just a little bit of glue. Um, I tell my kids, you just don't need too much. And then the bead will slide off for you. And you'll get these fantastic um, uh, shapes, which you can link onto um, a cord. I like uh, the, the really thin ribbon, um, especially since the younger kids will probably uh, have a bigger um, hole for their bead because they won't roll it as tight. Now, linking the different papers and the different size beads together will just um, reinforce things like patterning and um, and and shapes for them. They can, I can imagine in my classroom, I might um, have someone roll uh, 10 beads and then oh, they might share with nine of their friends so that they can um, link those beads together. Maybe you could even talk about storytelling um, as you as you are creating these, these beads. Um, I have seen where um, there's uh, jewelry that is made, these beads, these paper beads, actually have a shellac on them, so, and they're rolled really tight and beautifully um, with a little bit of color on top of it. So you can even make jewelry from these beads. So something quick, easy, and fun around, um, around books. So enjoy this project and let me know how it goes. Thanks for listening and integrating art into picture books. Remember, there's a lot more resources in our Red Clover handbook, 
which can be found under the Vermont Department of Libraries website. Be well and make more art.